Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming this on the last day of 2020, but when you guys are watching it, it'll be 2021. So congrats to all of us for getting through 2020 and here's to a happier new year. So I know I haven't done a vlog for a very long time on this channel, but that's because my life was kind of boring. I was just at home studying, going to online classes. But now that 2020 is coming to an end, I thought I'd just share a few snippets of what I've been up to on these last few days. Of course, I spent a lot of time with family, I caught up with some friends, and me and my sister even took on a very extensive baking project, which you'll soon see. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this short vlog of little snippets from the last days of the year. Hope you guys all have a happy and healthy 2021. So let's just get into it. So finals are over and I finally got to catch up with one of my good friends, Minji, over Thai food and some gifts. It's Christmas Eve and my family and I decided to take a trip to San Francisco. My family had seen a large group of raccoons in Golden Gate Park, so I wanted to see them for myself. Unfortunately, we didn't see any raccoons, but we had a good time walking around anyway. Here are some non-raccoon things we saw. Some never seen before North American birds. Look at this duck just standing here. The ocean, where it was very windy. A nice view of some bodies of water and the Golden Gate Bridge. Bruh. So all that walking got us hungry and me kind of hangry, so we picked up some Thai food from this place called Farmhouse Kitchen. It was this big platter of arranged Thai dishes and just looked really pretty. And of course it was delicious as well. Then I fell into a food coma and we wrapped up our Christmas Eve trip and headed home. It's Christmas and I started a day with an upper body workout from Carolyn Gervin. She's been my favorite fitness YouTuber lately. I feel like her workouts are even more challenging than Lily Sabri's. I also want to just talk about the concept of exercising while on holiday or taking a break. If you asked me a year ago why I was exercising now, I would probably have felt like I was trying to undo a bad diet or keep any progress that I would have supposedly lost. But I think that this year has really helped me build a better relationship with exercise so that I can confidently say I want to do this exercise on Christmas Day because I truly enjoy it. I'm not going to push myself to work out, but rather live in the moment and enjoy how Carolyn is challenging my body. Anyway, it's time to unwrap presents, and here's a quick look at our Christmas tree as well as everything underneath it. Among the presents were a homemade boba kit and a cute pin for my dad, useful cooking utensils for my mom, Japanese stationery for my sister's bullet journaling, and some earrings designed by Ashley from Best Dress for Me. We also couldn't wait and tried out some of the fancy chocolate and pastries that my dad got. What? It's some boba tea. Beige. Oh. And you can make yourself. Yeah, oh, oh, I I it. <laughs> yes. so, so much stuff for you. Yes, I know. from Costco. Wow. Of course, Christmas wouldn't be complete without some hot pot. It's one of those comfort meals that always brings back happy memories for me. It's a meal that really brings everyone together. And that night we played some mahjong, a game perfect for four people, and thus ended our Christmas day at home. Although we've been living together pretty much this whole year, I think it's times like these that really remind me how lucky we are to all have each other. Winner. I don't know. <laughs> Christmas might be over, but my sister and I still had some interesting ideas, aka a special baking project. So we headed to Target to check out some holiday sales, which didn't yield much. There is nothing here. And to get some ingredients. A 
Okay, so we're baking something, but not just any dessert. We're planning to create a show-stopping centerpiece that combines two iconic Christmas desserts, a spiced cake and gingerbread. Eventually. We made a lot more dough than expected, so pretty much this whole day was dedicated to making and decorating gingerbread cookies, which I wasn't going to complain about. But I must say, after this project, I can see how stressful it must have been for the bakers in Great British Bake Off. So right now, here are some finished ones. Here are some scraps. Sunny is making more. And here are even more waiting to be baked. Decorating was probably the hardest and most time-consuming part. I can see how the bakers would be so stressed when time was running out. Okay, it'll all be the inside of the house. Oh no, oh, no I touched. It's okay. Oh no, the window is sliding down. <laughs> It was a joint effort for us to set up the house on top of the cake, and then we went about decorating all the cookies. Then I ended the night with some sushi with a friend. Wow. Whoa. Whoa! Look at that cross section. The very next day, we ate our cake. It tasted just as good as it looked, but now we've got a lot of gingerbread. The next day, my sister and dad wanted to run a half marathon before the year ended, so me and my mom were just there to support. Yay! 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 Cool. Bruh. Cross it! Yeah. Yep, it's duct tape! Yay! Yay! Yay. And that brings us to today, December 31st. It's been a really tough year that's taken a big toll on my mental health as I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate. Just the transition to staying at home, like taking classes remotely, not seeing your friends as much, all the while trying to maintain like a normal sense of life, that can really take a toll on anybody. I definitely experienced a lot of loneliness, self-doubt, like self-criticism, all of that. I don't believe that 2021 is just gonna be a whole new book in our lives, like everything's gonna be happy, we're gonna return to normal very soon. But I think it's just the extension of the last chapter. We still have so much work to do on ourselves and for the people around you, and all we can do is just take the lessons that we've learned from this time of hardship and apply it to how we're gonna live in this new year. So yeah, thank you guys so much if you watched to this point. Thank you for supporting my videos this year and just being along for the journey. I really do enjoy creating videos for YouTube and I hope I can do much more of that in the new year. So thank you guys again for watching and see you guys in the next one.